what we're going to do now is just a quick tutorial in creating this base plate here that you see in front of you. So that's what it's going to end up by the time we've finished. I'm just going to marquee select and delete all of that. And we're going to start again. So I'll start from my line tool. And my line tool is going to have a basic starting point of 100 tab 50. It's my start point. And that's going to run along for a distance of 100 at an angle of 0. Okay. And then it's going to come up by a distance of 100 by an angle of 90. And you see I'm changing these on my dynamic input all the time. I'm then going to come along 25 by an angle of 180. And I'm going to go down by 50 by an angle of, now you could put 270 in here and it would do exactly the same thing. Oh, you know what it wouldn't? He says famous last words. Um, 50 angle of 90, that's obviously been changed then. And I'll press enter. So now what I want to do is I want to do the other side. So I'll right click and I'll repeat my line and I'll repeat it from uh, the start point of 100 tab. 50, and that will go up a distance of 100 tab 90, and it's going to go right by 25 tab 0, and down by 50 tab 90. So there's the basic shape. Let's get this arc in here. The arc that we're going to use is going to be a start end radius. Okay. Now, because everything works sort of counterclockwise, um, we'll start from this end point here. That will be our start point. That will be our end point. And I really advise when you're doing arcs in AutoCAD that you fiddle around with the, the cursor position until you physically see the arc. Then you can type in the radius, which is 25, and press, press Enter. Guaranteed to work that way. There seems to be a little bit of a bug in the program that if you can't see that arc, doesn't matter even if you've got the right radius. If you're doing it and you can't see that, that, that arc to begin with, it doesn't matter what value you put in, it will never work. Okay, so I want to put some of those bolt holes back in, moving on, uh, and I'll pick this circle here. This is circle radius. And again, I'll be asked for a starting point for the circle, which is going to be 112.5 in the X and 65 in the Y. And that's going to have a radius of 7.5. Okay. That's just my one point. I would like to know where I'm going to put all the others. And a really quick, easy way of doing that is to come to my rectangle tool here. And I'll hover over the center of that circle. And I'm going to pick uh, the second corner for this rectangle, which is going to be uh, 75 by 70. There you go. So now I've got these corner points where I can go in and I can put the circles on there as well. So I'll redo my circle and I'll say that's its end point and its radius will be 7.5. Right click and repeat the circle. And that corner point there will have a radius of 7.5. And I'll right click and I'll repeat the circle and that corner radius there again. Or that corner point there will have a radius of 7.5. So there's all my... Um, circles in place. I now need to put some polygons in place so I'll pin that down there and I'll click polygon. Number of sides I'm going to want is six and the center point is going to be here and they're going to be circumscribed and that radius is going to be eight. Yeah, And it's just a case of right click, repeat polygon, number of sides Start position, circumscribed, eight, enter. And what we're doing here is we're just practicing the, really just practicing the idea of how we're going to build all this. So circumscribed, there we go. These are all the building blocks of how you create drawings in AutoCAD. It's just these simple skills that we've got here. Everything else is just, for want of a better word, fluff. There we go, I can close that up, escape out of this, select this rectangle, 
and delete. And there we go, there is our simple drawing that we've made of an end plate or a base plate um, done with separate objects all on one layer, but nice and simple, all basic, and it looks quite good at the end of the day. So have a go at doing that yourself and see how you get on.